Hey there, family. Um, I'm getting ready to make myself a nice hot cup of coffee. Y'all see my cup? What that say, y'all? What that say? Let me tell you. It says, a wise woman once said, fuck this shit. And she lived happily ever after. And that's what the girl said. Family. I had planned on sitting my ass, sitting my ass downstairs with y'all, having a cup of coffee. Damn near broke my neck. But you see, that's what I get for uh, not using my damn walker. Trying to be cute. Almost broke my damn neck right now. So, of course, I got some uh, anxiety. And I had to run back upstairs, get in bed, and take some anxiety medicine. And you guys usually don't have to take anxiety medicine unless I'm going out because going out the house gives me anxiety now because I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. And um yeah. I left that coffee down there for one I can't bring it up here myself anyway. Because I need both of my hands said I'm gonna so, I need both of my hands to uh, walk up the damn stairs. I'm trying to calm down. My hands are shaking. My twitching is all of a sudden getting worse. This ain't nice at all, y'all. Not at all. What on then came and popped down on my lap. That don't make it no better. When I feel weak as hell. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I used to think when people say that, um, you know, they have anxiety and panic attacks, but sure enough, I know people do have them, but I used to think people would over exaggerate with, uh, when it came down to uh, anxiety. I can't hold this phone, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> You know, just over exaggerate a little bit. Yeah, my husband just got back from getting something. To eat. He's calling me, but I can't get down now. So he's got to, to bring the food up here. Anyway, you guys, I'ma uh, eat and I'll come back to y'all. Uh, all right. So, I wanted to show you guys this. This is a dispenser which helps me to be able to get my shampoo, conditioner, and body wash or soap. Since I can no longer squeeze the... Um, conditioner shampoo bottle nor can I squeeze the toothpaste uh to my husband got this off of Amazon. Um I don't know who was by he opened it through the box and everything away. But this is what it looks like. They had uh, different labels, and you can pick whatever labels you want to go on there. So my husband 
ask me which ones I want to show shampoo, conditioner, and soap, of course. So, this will make it much easier. All you do is push those knobs and it squirts up. You can, um, it comes with this so you can hang it in the shower. So that's cool. So yeah, I could just use my knuckle, which I use for everything else, and push it, and it's easy access for you, girl. Also, he got this uh, cocoa uh, toothbrush. I'm sorry, uh, toothpaste holder. And all you do is stick your toothbrush in there and push it. And it comes out. So, yeah. Just a couple more gadgets to make your girl's life just a little bit easier. So, I thought I'd share that with you guys. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, I'm back. So, yeah, I think that is really going to help me in the shower. Um, me sitting there trying to struggle to open up the, uh, to squeeze the uh, shampoo bottle. And the conditioner bottle is just, you know, time consuming when I'm already limited to uh, how long I can even stand up period that's on in the shower and um so I thought that was uh a great idea for my husband to purchase those things for me he um as you can see I haven't uh used it yet haven't put it up yet I will let you guys know uh if you're interested in either one of those let me know and uh I'll have my husband go and look up where he got uh, the name and all that. We go on Amazon and look it up. Mm. Also, he got me, because my uh, bed is really high, he got me a step stoop because I pretty much got to sit down and then kind of roll over into my bed. And it's getting really hard to do that, so he did purchase me a uh, step stool from uh, Bed and Bath. So, um, that helps. What's up? Right there, right there, in the bed. She got it, she knew it was that, yeah, she knew he was looking for it. Her little smart self. Yeah, she comes and brings her ball in my room in the bed to hide it from John. See something else. Um, so yeah, um, that was I saying. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested and I'll, uh, put it in the description box of this video so when you go back to look for the one be in my next video to be look for it in this video um but yeah i'm just sitting up here now uh i'm so tired of eating out although my husband cooks you know he he gets tired he's the only one um well, no, because John can cook, but John has certain things that he cooks too, and it's still pretty much the same stuff that I get tired of eating. Um, I don't know, y'all. This fast, fast food business is getting to you, girl. I was so happy. Uh, I told my husband I wanted ox sales, and, um, you know, I assisted him with, you know, seasoning and letting him know uh, what to put in there and everything. 
and uh, same with the cabbage system uh, uh, on how to cut the cabbage up and the onions and all that stuff. John did the uh, broccoli and carrots, but that was nothing. Just put that in a, a pot with some water and they do what it do. Season and put a little butter in. Uh, what else do we have? Rice. My husband knows how to make rice, so I don't have to worry about that. I was just so grateful to get a hot, home-cooked, soul food-type meal with that cornbread, too, he had. Oh, my God. That cornbread was out of sight. Out of sight, man. I tell you. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I did enjoy the leftovers last night. And um, if there's still some more. I might have some more tonight. I tell you, my stomach, you know, when your, when your stomach gets something that it really likes or it hasn't had in a long time and it start kind of growling and rumbling as you're eating, yes, my stomach was like, yes, yes, this is what I'm talking about. I've been waiting on this right here. For a long time, sister, thank you. Yeah, I was just as happy as my stomach was. Mm. But yeah, um, I'm still working on this uh, piece of skin on top of my lip. Yeah, y'all can't see it, but I can feel it also on the side of my uh, lips. I don't know why. My lips get so dry. Now, I don't understand that. Y'all you know, see me, I'm a licker. You know, I lick my lips constantly. It's not like they should be dry, but they do. And I need to put something on now as we speak, but guess where it is? Over there on top of my dresser. I have to get up out the bed to go get it. And y'all know that's too much for me to do. <sighs> Don't blame me. Blame ALS. Blame that coward. Don't blame me. But yeah, y'all. Um, overall, uh, I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm actually feeling pretty damn good. Aside from me almost breaking my neck. But, uh, I've calmed down. Uh... Medicine got your girl on chill, on chill, chizzle. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I feel I feel pretty good. I feel, but you know what, you guys, I think I've showed it to you. Again, that's on my dress, so I'm gonna have to go get it back. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all because it was somebody else who was anemic who had asked me about that. Uh, I purchased it off of Amazon, but it's a liquid iron. I find it to be much easier on my stomach. Um, I, I don't drink it straight out the bottom. Um, we you know what I mean out the bottom, but I don't drink it uh, straight. I pour about, mm, not even a half a cup, less than half a cup of orange juice. Um, and then I add that liquid iron in there, about two, two, uh, two tablespoons. Uh, it depends on how, I would say two tablespoons to a half a cup, a little under half a cup, one tablespoon. So, yeah. And, um, I've actually also, um, feeling a little better, I think. I think my iron had got low again. So, um, that iron just taking it the past three days, I am feeling much better. What else is up with me? Nothing, really. Nothing. Um, I'm just happy to report that your girl's feeling pretty darn good today. 
Uh, I hope all of you or any of you who are suffering with any kind of illness, um, I hope you're having a good day today as well. If you're not, I will uh, continue to keep those of you that I know who are suffering with different ailments. I will keep you in my prayers. And um, that's about it, so I'm uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know some things that I need to do, but uh, maybe I'll tackle a couple of those things. And that's pretty much it, y'all. If I do not come back to you guys today, then I will see you on the next video. I appreciate all of you. I want to give a shout out to. Did I shout Sarah Jane out for her uh, donation to my GoFundMe? I want to shout, shout out Les for her donation to my uh, GoFundMe. You guys just don't know how much that means to me. <laughs> you just don't know. I thank you. I will always cherish those donations as well because, it, you know, you don't have to do that. You do it because you want to do it. You do it from the bottom of your heart. And those are the type of donations that I want, including my family, my blood family. I feel like if it's not in your heart to give, don't feel obligated just because we're a family, you know. Mm-mm. Hey, some family members just don't want to give. Then you have some they can't at this time. I totally get all of that. I don't want anyone to donate that can, for one, can afford it, and for two, if it's not in your heart to give. Um. Yeah, so... I also want to shout out my uh, cousin, Tino, for his donation. I want to shout out uh, my cousin, Tina, which is his son's mother, for her, her donation. And um, uh, Rita Walker, thank you so much, Rita Walker, for your donation, sis. I appreciate it. Yeah, because struggle is real now with one income. Um, and the things I'm uh, I'm going to require, power share, stuff like that, certain things for the most part, most of my benefits, medical benefits, are covered because under my husband's insurance. But there are a few things that aren't, or a few things that I need that aren't covered. Yeah. As far as the uh, shampoo and uh, condition, little soap dispenser, little stuff like that. It doesn't cost a whole lot, but when your bills are already at a limit to where you only have so much left over, you know, for gas, groceries, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. And um, I'm just so totally grateful again for all of those, all of you who have uh, donated. My GoFundMe link is in, my, uh, in the uh, description box. And um, I thank you all. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. God is good. He is so good. So um, you guys, that's what I'm saying. You just don't know how much. Uh, girl, bye. Knock it off. All right. Let me sell them.
Man, I you know, do you all get a little tickle and I don't know if it's a hair or what my nose, but anyway, yeah, I'm trying to get off topic so I can gather my emotions. But um yeah, so if I don't get back to you guys today, I will get back to you on the next video. I love you all so very much. You know this man. So don't trip. Your girl is here and she is here to stay as long as she is able. And with you all's help and love and support, it makes it so much easier for me to do so. Even on my hard days, um, I, I, I think about you guys' comments and how you guys tell me to keep pushing and stay strong and uh, <clears throat> just come on and just say you're okay. And, you know, some of you will say, hey, just come on when you can. Come on. Don't feel rushed. We are going to be here. That keeps me going. It really keeps me going. And, um, yeah, let me let y'all go. But I will see you guys on the next video. And be safe out there in them streets, y'all. So dangerous out there. So dangerous. Um, after this whole R. Kelly business as well. Keep an eye on your kids. Know where they are, what they're doing, and who they're with at all times. Even if they're grown. I I I need to know where my kids are, what they're doing, that they're safe. And they know I do what I love. Alright, y'all. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.